This is a short video to show you how to segment your list for a campaign. I'm at the MailChimp dashboard. I've just logged in and I'm going to create a new campaign. I'm going to click the button on the, in the upper right. I'm going to choose a regular old campaign, which is what you'll probably be using for most of your email blasts. I'm going to choose the entire list, Gmail, import October 14, 2013. I'm going to be presented with some options here to send to either the entire list, send to a saved segment, or send to a new segment. I am going to create a new segment. I am presented with subscribers that match any of the following. I'm going to keep it at any. Alternatively, you could choose all. I'm going to look in this first drop down which contains all my fields in the database. I'm going to look for categories. Categories is the catch-all field that was uh, used to uh, catch all of the Gmail labels and I'll show you that in a moment. It looks just like uh, the labels that were in Gmail. I want this category from this category I want anything that contains the word digital digital voter I don't have to type any everything out I just need um, one keyword I could add more conditions if I wanted to if I wanted members not members I could do that um, there's several ways I could build this query but I'm going to keep it simple for right now I'm going to refresh the count to see how many people. There are 83 recipients in this segment. That's who's going to get this email blast. I'm going to show you what that categories field looks like. You can uh, click this and find all your recipients. You can check their emails first to see who's getting it if you want to check it out. But I want to scroll over here and show you the categories field. And if you'll notice, I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing this too well, but I'm going to try. There we go. Okay, if you can see that, you'll notice that these are just keywords that were taken from uh, the Gmail um, export. And we've got, you know, digital voter non-members we've got my contacts is one mass mail list um, this is identical so all you have to do is pick a keyword if you wanted to click mass mail digital voters non-members you would use that entire term and that is how you can build your uh, list in the same way that you're doing uh, from gmail so we've got the 83 recipients we are going to go down here. Uh, MailChimp is letting us know what else, what our next step is. Our next step is going to be to set up our campaign. We're going to name our campaign. This is our segment segmentation email sample. That's just for your internal use, and MailChimp lets you know that. I'm going to say email subject is news from, I'm going to type out the entire League of Women, okay, women, okay, thank you, that's already been in there, League of Women Voters, Berkeley, Albany, Emeryville, that came up because I've used it before. I'm going to leave personalized checked, but we're not going to use a merge field. But once we look at the list very closely and see if our first names are all good, we can start using this merge field that we can say, Dear Nancy, Dear Deborah, um, yada, 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 in our email. But we have to check all the names because some of the names are funny. I am also going to put League of Women Voters over here from the from. I think that's going to fit. We can double check that. This is why we test. But I think this is better than LWVBAE. One little caveat is for some reason org becomes ORT, and I've seen this with a couple of other clients too. Don't know why uh, MailChimp is doing that. Uh, we can look at our tracking. 
because we want to track everything. Uh, we've got, uh, this is always going to go from campaign to campaign, so that's what we want to track. Opens, clicks, and plain text clicks. If you want to use Google Analytics in the future, we can set that up. There's nothing else here that we need to worry about. Just keep that at the default. Social media at such time, we want to start using the social media. I can get that set up for you. And merge options just isn't too much down there. We always just want to leave that checked. Authenticate the campaign. For the most part, you don't even have to click on these drop downs because they're going to stay the same from campaign to campaign. Our next step is design. We're going to use the design email that yeah, we're going to use the email designer. We're going to start designing. All right. Now, here is where Deborah may have gotten a little bit confused. All we have to do, we don't need to click a template. We can, but we can use a basic template. I would suggest using these because they're mobile ready. They're the latest and greatest designs from MailChimp, and I think these just are, they're super, so stick to the basic templates. But we're going to go back to make this easy for us. Every time you make a new campaign, simply go to your My Campaigns uh, button, and you're going to see all your last campaigns. This is just going to show, keep a record of all your campaigns. What I've done is I have favorited my October Digital Voter Email Blast sample. I could even uh, change that name. But I'm going to select this so I can preview it. I was just playing with this to show you how you can get your images in here and, uh, you know, get it color coordinated and things like that, how it looks on the mobile. But I'm going to choose this select. This gives you your your header is going to be up there already. You're going to just start immediately building your new email. You can either simply trash the text blocks and image blocks that are here or simply edit them. You're always going to edit on the right. Put your text in the right. Everything gets edited on the right. In this issue, I could change that for my uh, image block. Just click the pencil. I can replace the image. I can edit the image. I can always remember to replace the link. Here's where you're building your text. This is uh, just like a Word or Google Doc uh, toolbar. If you click that little uh, drop down on the right, that little uh, triangle, you're going to get your full word processor um, formatting options here with center, right, right justified, left justified, and that's where we'd find our merge tags when we want to use them. Each time you uh, edit a text or image block, always click save and close, and you're going to go back to where you can grab more text or image blocks. Uh, I'm going to close this for now because we really wanted just to learn about the segmentation, uh, but I'm, I'm going to complete the campaign. I'm going to go plain text is my next step. You simply click copy text from HTML email. That's going to give you a text version of your email. You can give people the option to have a text version or not. It doesn't hurt. The, net, the last step is confirm. This is actually the next to the last step. You're not sending it yet. You're all set to send. MailChimp will very nicely give you a nice blue turquoise check mark here for everything that is ready to go. If there's something that is not ready to go, I believe it's yellow that he, he puts up. You know, he, he like says stop or something, you know, caution, warning, fix this. Uh, basically, he's not going to let you make a mistake is what he's going to do. So your final and last step to get this campaign out the door is either to schedule it or send it right away. We're not going to do either right now. All I'm going to do is come up here. What I am going to do, I'm going to show you the nicest little thing, is the preview 
and test. I can either open up my pop-up and preview my email. That's looking good. I like it. Or for the ultimate litmus test, send people a test email. And this is great, and this is the only um, email management software that I know of that's incorporating these little comments and messages in the tests, which I can send Nancy a test, I can send Deborah a test, and say, hey, ladies, let me know what you think. I didn't know if the colors were, you know, looking good. What should I change? Is this ready to go? You know, just, you know, whatever. You can have a conversation back. They get a black, um, I can do this right quick. They're going to get a strip across the test email when they receive it that is going to designate it as a um, test so they know it's not actually um, the real thing. And okay, I paused that for a moment because it was taking a minute to. Um, for that email to arrive to arrive in my email box. But notice this black strip. It says, hi, Ramona. Here's just a quick example of what can be done with simple email MailChimp template. You can type any type of message you want. Hey, Nancy, does this look good? Did I get the message right? And then Nancy gets to um, respond back to this and say, Hey Ramona, sorry, you've got the dates wrong. Fix it. Okay, send that back. Let's go back to MailChimp if everything works according to Hoyle, because this is live. <laughs> Let's go back to design. Okay, take me back to design. All right, it doesn't want to take me back to design. If all goes according to Hoyle, I'm going to see a comment on my template. And it says, look at that. It's supposedly it's from Nancy. This is pretend. You've got the dates wrong. Fix it. So this is a conversation. This is so much easier than it, than it used to be where you're going back and forth in email you're missing things. This is great. So um, that's how to segment. That's how to get your campaign set up. I'm not the best at these uh, recordings, so I do appreciate your patience in listening to me. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.